My whiskey ration for the day gone. How about another whiskey? Oh, don't mind if I do. Hey, I'm still drinking that. Showing that to Hob. Oh, you! Get that! The elevator on its own. A word if I may, Lady Puma. For you, George! I'm all ears. How can I help? Lady Piermont, we need your help. How thrilling! What do you need? Subterfuge? Pleasure domain? Um, actually, I just need you to step on that lift behind you. Oh, but of course. Is this good, George, darling? Perfect. Now, just stay right there. Not again. A variety of liquor bottles. Excuse me. All right, mate. Hobbs would be. Hobbs looked me. I. It was a half. How about a top up, Mr. Hobbs? Well, smash it. Far away. Now was my chance.
impressionist sketches. Well, it wasn't the Maledictio, but it did appear to be a study for an element of the painting, the Ouroboros. There was something different about the image in the center. It was the Ouroboros from La Maledictio, but what was in the middle? A face with some sort of symbol on the forehead. Strange. I was sure the painting in the gallery had a tree, not a face. I figured the sketch might come in handy, so I took it. What the heck are you doing with those? They're private papers. Huh? Well, that was fun. Just like when you were a private dick, George. So, you're not models? No, Mr. Hobbs. Well, you can't be a copper. You're not stupid enough. So what the blazes are you doing in my studio? We're investigating the theft of La Maledictio. I told you, I just restored it. That's what I do. Restore paintings. And these sketches? Studies done during the restoration. Nothing more. I've got now to do with what happened after that painting left this studio. How was I to know it was going to get Henri killed? Hang on a second. How do you know Henri's dead? Look, he and I went back a long way. Le Lézard Bleu was on the rope, so I got the painting into his exhibition. Nothing like this was supposed to happen. We're not accusing you of anything, Mr. Hobbs. We just want to get to the bottom of this. I get that. And I'll help you however I can. But this mess is way above my pay grade. How come you needed to make so many sketches of the painting to restore it? Restoration's not about throwing a lot of paint around. It, it takes research. The surf is a complicated painting. A lot of subtext. A lot of symbols. Why would anyone want to steal La Maledizio? It's not exactly a famous painting. True, but there is something special about it that's hard to describe. There's conviction in every brushstroke. Whoever El Serp was, he had a tale to tell. The symbolism is deeply religious. We have reason to believe that Madovsky is mixed up in the theft of La Maledizio. Eh? <laughs> what would he gain from stealing his own painting? We have strong evidence that Madovsky is not the real owner. He'll have a hard time proving that. Madovsky has a full set of provenances for the painting. It traces its legitimate ownership all the way back to the painter. Why didn't Madovsky mention it? Because they're not with him. Henri's got them. Or had them. And Henri is dead. So ask his partner. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal, you're wasting your time looking for conspiracies here. And you're wasting my time if you're not actually going to get naked. Go get the provenance from Lane, and everything will turn out hunky-dory. But it also puts Marquez's story into question. Not my problem, darling. Now both of you, get lost. I've got a painting to finish. And we have a critic to interrogate. Someone's lying, but who? Is it the gangster or the old Spaniard? The painter or the art critic? I need to head back for Nave's reconstruction. What about the evidence from Medovsky's house? Will you give it to Nave? I think I should. And I can put the squeeze on Lane. Ask him about the provenance. Good. I've got lunch with Ronnie tomorrow. This story is hurting up, and I want to make sure he keeps me on it. Taxi! It was good to be back in Rue Jarry. Ah, 
a customer. Oh, it's you. Fleur? Come in, come in. Last time I met Fleur, she was selling flowers from a street stall. Things had clearly gone very well for her since then. It was a small trolley. Hi, Fleur. Georges, welcome. The young lady you're looking for is not at home. How did you...? No, I have the gift. Did Nico tell you I might be stopping by? No, but I was expecting you nonetheless. Fleur was the best and probably the only psychic florist in Paris. So, the young woman I'm looking for... Nico lives next door. Yeah, she's not in? No, I believe she has gone out. Did the tea leaves tell you that? No, I saw her leaving a while ago. So, Fleur... How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Georges. Though truth be told, my hip has been playing up again. And I have a funny feeling about the number 12. But uh, apart from that, nothing new? No, that is all. Can you read my palm? Georges, please, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Give me a lock of your hair and a toenail clipping. Then we can talk. Hmm. I'll pass, thanks. Sit yourself. Do these sketches mean anything to you? Take them away, Georges. They have the taint of death on them. Are you serious? I mean it. Take them away. I have this... He does a... Yeah. He prefers the... Well, I think you'll find... Are you getting any... Mm. Does this shred it? Um... Can you tell me... I could. And? I can't give away. Bye-bye. Stay true to your heart, Josh. Fleur's classics were bl- There were boxes stacked along. I decided against wandering into the back of Fleur's shop. The door was locked. I remembered Nico said she was having lunch with Ronnie. I was back at Bijou's apartment. The door was locked. The door was Bijou, this is George Stobart from the insurance company. I love you, Ian.
Fortunately, Lane wasn't there. I wondered if Bijou could tell me anything new.